That for me is one of the most powerful, personally powerful aspects of of the Helmut Hubner resistance group is that they were a peaceful resistance group. There were other resistance yeah. groups, not many, but there were other resistance groups. Um, you know, the Edelweiss Pirat and the Edelweiss Pirates. They were, mm. you know, they were teenagers and in their 20s and stuff. Um, and and I'm not denigrating what they did because they stood up too, but their mode was let's go beat up, the, let's go pick fights with the Hitler youth mm -hmm. and, and let's go bomb the Gestapo offices and things like that, you know, and that's the way that they were doing that. For me, Helmut... He didn't know how to use a gun. He didn't have a gun. He he wasn't he wasn't a big kid. He was he was a thinker, yeah. and his gift and his weapon, if you will, was the written word. Wow, was the typewriter, and so that was his weapon, and that's what he used. And it's interesting that the Gestapo understood that they were more afraid of a typewriter than they were of the pistol, mm. um, because they understood they could take pistols away. They could do that. They could lock those people up. But what people think and what they believe. Um, that was much more difficult, much more dangerous yeah. from, the, from their perspective.